Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, so, I think we're going this way. Ah, if it isn't Cheeto. Though I suppose it's to be expected that I'll run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Go to Cobalt Coastlands. Belina's certainly in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden, and yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be airily airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice then, as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold mysterious power. With the right stone, you can in, you can even in, evolve some Pokemon. You need look no further than Cleaver for proof of that. What I'm trying to say is basically this, if you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about the Pokemon of this region, then the stones you find throughout Haizu will be very important. There's even a towel of a stone that contains the power of creation, the very same power Almighty Sonoa used to create the universe. I trust you'll take my advice to your heart and not underestimate how important stones can be. To help grind this fact into you, here, I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. Pebbles, gravel, and should you want some stones that can help Pokemon evolve, I believe that Ginkgo Guild has them from time to time. Okay, new place. Oh, do you know what? I should go back to town and talk to the lady. Um, because I think I've I've got more stars. Oh, that's pretty. The Cobalt Coastlands, a simply lovely corner of Haizu. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types? Or flying types, perhaps? Oh, I simply can't wait to study them all. Now, I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget that you've a mission to accomplish. So any questions before you get started? Um, about Fire Spit Island. Hmm, indeed. Fire Spit Island is an offshore volcano. You'll need to cross the sea to reach it. I'd advise you to speak to a fellow called Iskan. He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens and will surely help you find your way. Okay, um, I'm just going to quickly go back to the village. progress it seems you have earned yourself a star
With this, you have officially attained the rank of 6 star in the Galaxy Expedition team. You can now use Ultra Balls. Pokemon of up to level 80 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now too. Have these as well. They are a few res further recipes you'll need for crafting. Max potions? Nice! Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokédex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. Um, I'm pretty sure I can rank up again. Oh wow. Oh whoops, I didn't mean it. Find out what help she needs. Watering with cure. There's a pseudo voodoo at the Bogbound camp that seems to be feeling rather poorly. Odoo, one of the chaps from the village, is doing his best to treat it, but he could use a bit of help. Battling with Parashu. Ren from the security corps is trying to think of battle strategies to use with his Arashishu. Arashirisu. Talk to the chap and see what he needs. There are no other requests. Okay. Um. Was it this guy? Recipe for crafting remedies from scratch. Okay. A fine remedy. Superb remedy. Full heal. Max ether. Honey cake. Rain cake. Darkies. Dire hit. Ox guard, ox power, and bean cake. How do I make the actual? Yeah, how do I make the actual cake lure base? Maybe I get that in a quest. Um. Not that one. Oh, that one. Um. Yeah, that's the mission that we're on now. I've got all these quests that I haven't done. You find the Pokemon with the elegant tail that curls like a spring and catch one to show. Have I done that? How big he is. I have no idea what one he's looking for. Is it a stunky? doesn't have that captivating tail I want though. Try again for me, would you? It's a real elegant tail I'm looking for. 
Is it what? Does it say what region it's in? Villager named. If it isn't one of the young ones from the survey corps, good thing you dropped by. I need some help making friends with this Eevee. Think you could lend a hand? Gana, Ganala, my granddaughter, brought the little guy home with her the other day, and I want us to be on good terms. After thinking long and hard, I decided the best way to win Eevee over is the old-fashioned way, through tasty treats. So I'll be whipping up a special snack from my hometown. Some of the ingredients for it don't grow here in Haizu, but I found a, local, a few local berries and things that'll make good enough substitutes. Three stalks of hardy grains, two hoppo berries and one raspberry is what I need. I'm counting on you. Can I give... Sure. Cool. Wonderful! These ingredients look nice and fresh. I'll get cooking. So wait here while while with you. Is he gonna give me the recipe? Okay, they're all done. Let's have a taste before giving one to Evie, shall we? You obtained a hometown muffin. Hmm, that's interesting. I guess the taste is fine, but it's just not the same as the muffins from my hometown. I remember them being more moist and having this nice, delicate flavour to them. Sorry to waste your time after all the trouble you went through to gather the ingredients for us. But I'm afraid these mediocre muffins won't be enough to get me in Evie's good books. <sighs> oh, what's the matter, Evie? Do you want one? Well, I won't stop you. Here you go. You like it that much? That's, that's great. I'm so glad. Want another? I don't think that's wise. Too many snacks will give you a bellyache. Oh, now who could resist that cute little face? I'll spoil you rotten if I'm not careful. Yes, I will. Thanks to you, it seems Evie and I will get on just fine. More than fine, even. I'm in your debt. As for my new muffin creations, there's not quite the same as the ones from my hometown. So how about we call them Jubilife Muffins instead? I think I know just what to do to make them even tastier for my darling Evie too. I've jotted down my ideas. So here, you should try making some for yourself. Jubilife Muffins. The 5XP Candies S was sent to your storage. Well, um. I 
a male and a female. I don't know if I've got a male and a female. Some new styles in stock. Please feel free to have a look. What can I help you with? Um, about your request. Would you show me a male hippopotamus? Hippopotamus? Next, I'd like to see a female hippopotamus. Hippopo. Hippopotas. I never thought just a change in colour would lead to such a different impression for the same Pokemon. That's definitely inspired me. Give me just one moment. Please have a look at the newest entries to my shop's lineup. Are they brown? Um. got another quest. It's a species called shallows, you see. I've heard it has different forms depending on where it lives with different colouring too. If I could just compare its different forms, I'm certain I'd be filled with inspiration. Could you show me shallows different forms? One can be found in the obsidian field lands and the other on out in the cobalt coastlands. seen a blue one there. <laughs> a Pokemon? But I'm certain what I saw was a Will-o'-the-Wisp, you know. Hmm, I should look at this Pokemon at night. Okay, if you say so. Oh, do I have to sleep till night time now? Oh, golly gosh. I did not realise I had so many requests to do. I'm trying to like keep the um, story going like quite quickly but is where I'm at now when you just got there.
that's it. That's the Willow Lewis I saw, alright. So it was a Pokemon all along. In any case, you caught it just like you promised. The Survey Corps really are a talented bunch. Now I just have to explain the whole thing to Waka somehow. Can't say I'm looking forward to that. Oh, Will of the Wisp! No, save me, sis! <laughs> and we all left! <laughs> Another request. <coughs> Sorry. I can't get a good night's sleep like this. Don't scare me like that. No, no, everything's fine. Whatever you need, come back later, alright? What's the matter? Hmm, maybe a survey core type like you could figure out what's causing this. Look, when I'm in my quarters trying to sleep at night, it feels it feels like I'm not alone in there. Sometimes there's this kind of crackling sound. I found burnt berries a couple times and once in a while I hear something clatter. So survey core kid, go survey my quarters, find out what's happening. Just do it at night, would you? I've got, I've got to be at work during the day. Ready to investigate my place? Sure. I swear there's something in there. Check every nook and cranny for me, okay? It's got to be a Pokemon. Solve the mystery. The cloth has been pulled to one side. And is that a hair on the hem? A short black hair. Can't investigate anything else. It's full of rolled up architectural plans. There's a sketch of a Magikarp too. Perhaps it's part of the plans for Galaxy Hall. It's full of neatly folded uniforms. The closet door is open just a crack. Do you want to peek inside? Yes. There are some weird clothes and a cape inside. Oh, I can't actually see them. There's a faint smell. It seems like berries had been present here. There was a noise from the entryway. The closet door is open just to crack. Do you want to peek inside? It contains architectural models. There's a model with a Gyarados sculpture on it. Perhaps it's an early design for Galaxy Hall. There's a cloth draped neatly over the mirror. Okay. Doesn't seem you solved the mystery yet. Need a break or something? You heard something from beneath the cloth. Draw it back. What is it? You saw sparks fly for a moment. It seems like something ran by you. There was a noise from back near the closets. inside. There are some weird clothes and a cape inside. 
Oh, it's there. <laughs> Survey call, kid. Are you alright? I heard this strange noise. It's Biju! Wait a minute. This Pichu? Could it be... It might sound absurd, but I think this might be a Pichu I found injured in the forest a while back. A berry? For me? What? Because I fixed you up? Wait, so this thing's haunting my quarters was just a grateful little Pikachu? I mean, Pichu? Guess all that worrying was pointless. To think I was afraid it was some spine chingle chilling thing. Regardless, I owe you. Have a token of my gratitude. No, I just want the Pichu. Give me the Pichu! again for finding me those orange berries. I had a wretched time in the fieldlands, getting har harried by Pokemon left and right. They even got me with a few of their moves. But I did get those tumble stones, so I think I've earned some time to cool my heels here. I didn't even have a chance to tell us to use all the orange berries you got me, but they made a lovely snack. It's nice to be able to carry so much. Asking that fellow at headquarters to help me fit more in my satchels was definitely the right move. So helpful, soul that you are. I suppose you'll hear about my request to the professor. On to the matter at hand. Would you mind investigating the Mr. Mime that's taken up residence here in the village? Just having a wild Pokemon around among us is scary enough and then there's the eerie way it moves. The security corps refused to handle it for whatever reason. I'm hoping a su survey corps person like you can help me out. Look, it's over there. See, what's it up to? Would you find a way to approach Mr. Mine and see what he's up to? Do I have to be stealthy? Do I have to just go to... Do I have to go round? Railsy. It wouldn't run unless it had something to hide. Now we really got to find out what it's up to. Oh, where did it go? right up there.
Oh, this is annoying. And they won't even let me use my mountain town. What? I can't go this way? Oh my god, this is so stupid. Ah, oh, I've been like doing this for legit hours. We ran off that way, of course it did. You know, you've got a roundabout way of trying to get up close to Pokemon. Are you secretly scared of them or something? Um, invisible walls. What? You're joking. Unless that Mr. Mime is using some kind of mysterious power. Whatever the case, these, this calls for further research. I've got to get after that Mr. Mime. Come quick. Oh, they actually put like the invisible walls in the quest. That kind of makes sense. That was annoying. I thought it was just a friggin' game bug thing. Like, why can't I get through? <laughs> there you are. Look, Mr. Mime's over there. Go see if it's really making walls. Yep, still making walls. gonna run away again. It's trying to run again. Wait, you... Wow, I, I can't go any further. There's definitely something here I can't see. What is it, Mr. Mime? Looks like something's got you in a panic. What? Res, you know this Mr. Mime? Yep, it helps me guard the gate sometimes. When it stands out front and does that eerie dance, wild Pokemon can't get in. It's like there's some kind of invisible wall. It's docile and it helps me with my job, so I just let it do as it pleases. Who would have thought? Sorry to make you go to all that trouble, but it brought me some peace of mind, if nothing else. If we've got invisible walls cropping up here and there, folks had better keep an eye out. Or perhaps not an eye. Well, however one watches out for invisible objects. Yeah, because you can see them. done that. Oh, I didn't realize how many quests I had. I've just been catching Pokemon. <laughs> Had 
I'll catch them all. Wait, you've got hearty grains? Would you let me have some? But please, just three stalks. Ah, oh, hearty grains, the crimson meal land's finest feature. The sway of those golden brown stalks across the landscape, it fills me with yearning for home. I'd wager if you combined hearty grains with other ingredients, it'll bring out tasty aromas that would make Pokemon gather around. Alright, I won't send you back a failure, since you so kindly bought me these hearty grains. Tell Choi I'll set him up with some new wares. Does that mean I can make the bases now? That nostalgic and unmistakable fragrance. If only I could smell it again. I wonder if the herbs from my home region can be found in Haisu as well. Oh, you're part of the Survey Corps, right? Maybe you've seen what I'm looking for. It's an herb that looks like a bluish vine. I've heard it clings to a specific Pokemon. Please let me know if you manage to catch a Pokemon that has herbs that look like blue vines hanging off of it. Is that going to be in the new? got news. New goods in stock. Thanks to you. I'm sorry you had to deal with all this. Tao Hao Tao Hu and I had some complications before. But thanks to you, we've got excellent new items to offer. Do you buy some? Hello again, value customer. You've arrived in the nick of time. I'm afraid Tai who is refusing to do business with me again. He won't listen to a word I say. So would you try to persuade him again for me? I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring three pop pods as a token of goodwill. Perhaps after this he'll actually accept them. Okay, but can I look at your book? Where's? Oh, I do have to buy them. So I can't make them. Holy crap, I don't want that many. Um, 50 will do. I don't know if I've got the cockpit plant. If it isn't the survey call recruit who called the lady of the ridge, what can I do for you? You're running errands for Choi again? Sending a customer to negotiate for him once was bad enough, but twice? Where's his spine? Pestering me for goods when I'm already tearing, tearing my hair out trying to get pop pods? Sheesh! Okay, I don't have any pop pods. Be in the new place. Ah, oh, we really haven't even made a dent in all these requests. Find the Pokemon with three leaves in the Crimson Meal Lands and catch one to give to Annex. Is that the. One crazy yellow, or whatever it's called. Oh. 
Or is it that one? These are on top of its head. Oh, is it that thing? This one's an alpha. No need to give me such a shock. But here, let me take a closer look. Ah yes, there's no mistaking these lovely leaves. This precious darling is the one we need. Now then, but tell me, my dear, would you be so kind as to share a few of your leaves with us? Hello again, young lady. Did you find that plant I asked you for? A Pokemon! Oh my, it seems we've been discovered. Petilly. 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 Here is just sharing its leaves so we can make our medicine. Shannon. No need to panic. But, um, the medicine ingredients come from this, this Pokemon the whole time? You know how scared I am of Pokemon. I'm sorry, but I just can't make this medicine anymore. This phobia of yours has gone on long enough. Pokemon scare you because you know nothing of them. Yes. But your ignorance should worry you far more than the unknown, my dear. The Galaxy team even set up the Survey Corps so we could all learn more about Pokemon. Would you have their efforts go to go to waste? I understand what you're saying, but I I just can't get over my fear right now. Right away. Though I guess I guess the survey call works hard out there in the wild too, even if it's scary. Okay, I'll do my best to get over my fear. I'm glad I I picked the alpha one. <laughs> I didn't I didn't even um realize it was an alpha one. It's freaking huge! Um, I'll start by learning more about this Pokemon and really getting to know it. You do that. Enjoy that alpha. <laughs> ah, it's so great. I love how they're so big. Um... Gather information in Jubilife Village. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of don't want to have like the whole um, episode just be requests so I might after this one um, we'll go to the new place you're after a medicine that can cure Psyduck's headaches well you came to the right person take this it's a secret medicine that only those from my hometown know how to make everyone's got a hometown as you'll see it works wonders Give it a try, give it to any ailing Pokemon, and they'll soon be a rider's rain. Even a Psyduck's headaches will clear right up, I'm sure. Do I get any secret medicine? Alright, um... Oh, 
Oh, there's a mass outbreak. Let me show us the bug camp. some nice work. Yeah, see, I can rank up again. Is it you? No. Is it you? Hey, you there. Could you lend me a hand? I was on my way here from the Millands camp when this Alpha Hippodon came after me. I got away, but I dropped a charm I was carrying, and now I can't find it anywhere. I've just got to have it back. If you find a charm laying in the swamp, could you bring it back to me? Okay. Is it gonna be near the big guy? Oh, they're up there. Oh. <coughs> oh, there it is. Oh, but I don't want to fight it again. Oh, it's not the alpha? I thought I had to fight the alpha again. You sure are something taking on a big angry hippo done like that. Wait, what's that lying over there? My charm, it's really you, welcome back. It means a lot to me that you were you went toe to toe with that hippo done on my behalf. You'd better believe I won't be losing this charm again. Not after you went to all that trouble to get it back to me. satchel. Oh, that's right, it was this place. Well, the side acts look all better already. What a relief. Thanks for finding this medicine for us. You know, I was a little nervous about the Galaxy team before, but if you're the sort of folk that are kind enough to help total strangers, I guess I had no reason to worry. And what did you call that stuff again? Secret medicine? Gosh, the Galaxy team must be very, very talented. Maybe I'll visit you all in Jubilife sometime. Okay, 
So. Got the button I pressed. We've still got so much. Have I done that? I think I've seen one yet. Okay, so do you have to go back to Jubilee Village every single time? So distracted. Let me see it's Pokedex entry when you're done. Okay, I haven't done it. I haven't even seen one, which is weird. again. Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this you have officially attained the rank of 7th star in the Galaxy Expedition team. You can now use Giga Ton Balls. All Pokemon will obey your orders reliably now. Oh wow! The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous too. Have this as well. It is a further recipe you'll need for crafting. Giga Ton Ball. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. Can I just talk to this professor here? Let us go and continue our quest. Oh, I wonder if we're going to get the the water Pokemon. 
Um. Can I go first? No. Denied. I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. But I am here, and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. Why? I need to understand my weaknesses. Please do this for me. Why? Oh, she says the same thing. <laughs> very good. You who have seen the vast space beyond the rift, here I come. I just changed my Pokemon again. <gasps> I'm fighting two at once. Decided. Ah, oh, now I feel better. The world is vast and I am small within it. Why does that make you feel better? <laughs> Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. Alright, with you, I think with you I can be frank. We can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander, but in truth, I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens of the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Palina, but she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise a successor to fill the late towards empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, that is to say, Polina, she's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal too. Obviously, nothing of fashion sense. Having said all this, I have a favour to ask of you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true heir to his father, the late Lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir will grow into a worthy successor. And if, it, if he succeeds, it should silence Lina's naysayers. 
I don't know of anyone I'd trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleaver's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up on the head headland. Head down this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading up onto the right ridge. Okay. Pokemon. Can you still see me? I don't have any revives.
Oh, it's just so pretty, yeah. I've legit just been walking around. I'm still, like, at the starting area. <laughs> I've just been walking. It's just such a pretty game. Alpha man. Wait, there's a bag of you. Who is still targeting? in my pokey party have changed and that's just because I was trying to complete the pokedex and it's um oh she's over there um it's just easier um like when you have to see one type of move like so many times just to use that pokemon Oh, <laughs> I was gonna attack him. Oh, aren't you the Survey Corps member who called the Lady of the Ridge? Well, listen to this. A couple of APOM stole my pack full of goods. They've been darting around le leading me on a chase almost like they're teasing me. I haven't got a hope of catching them. You must be used to dealing with Pokemon. Can you get my pack back from those Apom? Now. Do I just fight them? You're not the one that I want to fight. 
Oh, I had to run to them first. Well, I see you chase down the apon. And my goods are all safe, thank goodness. How can I repay you? Let me think. Whoa, what's gotten into you? Looking so meek all of a sudden. Are you actually feeling remorseful? Oh, alright, alright. No hard feelings. Just stop it with the sad look. You're making me feel bad. I just hope you've learned your lesson. No more pranks, please. Oh, come on. You couldn't even wait till I was done scolding you. They took my pinap berries. I was saving those for later. Just goes to show you can't let your guard down around Pokemon. I was just like, I don't want to chase them again, please. Now, settle down. I'm Pal Palina of the Pearl Clan. Who and who might you be? Ah, so you're that child from the Galaxy team. I heard you aided Cleaver and Lilligant when none other could quell their frenzy. Your strength must be amazing, and yet you have such a gentle face. So what brings you to the Cobalt Coastlands? We have no Lord here, much less a frenzied one, for you to fall. Our previous Lord was swallowed by the waves. He was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure the pup's safe return. If you were to guess which one of these Growlithe would you say is the previous Lord's child? A small one. Oh, you have quite a good eye. This quite skittish Growlithe is the child of the previous Lord. I have no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine Lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. There are those who accept me to... There are those who expect me to train him more strictly and force Lordship upon him before he is ready. But I could never bring myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the Pearl Clan says, 
my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one side and let him live his life as he wishes. So now that you know your sit our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? Ah, did Ira... Iradar asks you to intervene, perhaps. I appreciate the kind gesture, truly, but I'm afraid this matter simply does not concern you. So now that you know our situation, my heart I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands. A survey of Fire Spit Island. I see. There are rumours the place is haunted by strange shadows these days. You'll need to set the aid of a Pokemon known as Basque Legion if you wish to cross the sea. You should speak to Iskan, a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. There is definitely something strange happening out on Fire Spit Island. Those shadowy figures are concerning of course, but then there's also the odd lightning that came from that rift in the sky. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry. I worry that we may have offended almighty Sanoa somehow. In the past, the Pearl Clan and the Diamond Clan were locked in conflict over which side revered the true Almighty Sanoa. Even if we've reached an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sanoa must be angered because there are still those who worship a false image of it. Ah, but I digress, I do apologise. Isken lives on Apon Hill, just past Ginkgo Landing. I imagine you'll find him there. Kill. It's Volo. Why, hello there, Miss Cheetah. Fancy running into you out here. Me? Oh, I'm on the hunt for some plates. How's your plate hunting going, young friend? No need to be humble, I see you've already got your hands on four plates. You gain plates when you quell frenzied nobles, and when a great Pokemon recognises you as a worthy of bearing... recognises you as worthy of bearing. Isn't that right? The way you've been collecting those plates, it reminds me of the ancient hero, the one that's said to have battled against the almighty Sanoa. You know, I've been wondering, the ten Pokemon that are said to have followed the ancient hero, their powers are supposed to have come from Almighty Sanoa itself. Why would they seek to challenge Almighty Sanoa along with the hero then? Perhaps we'll get some answers once we gather all the plates. Well, let's both do our best to find more. But please, don't overexert yourself. I'd hate for something to happen to one of our guilds loyal customers. I'm surprised I didn't have to battle him. I couldn't get in the door. Do, do I have a visitor? I'll be right out, give me a moment. So, um, look how pretty it is. I'm Iskan of, of the Diamond Clan, a Galaxy team member with a Celestica flute. Oh, you must be Cheetah, right? Have I done something to warrant your visit? Yeah, I need, I need the, I need this, the, um, Basque Legion mount. Well, sudden visits give me quite a shock. I do hope you'll give me advance notice in the future. So, um, why are you here? So you, you want to go to Fire Spit Island? Well, if you insist, then you'd probably need Basque Legion's favourite snack. That should help. Help him warn, warm up to you. But preparing his favourite, oh, it's um, more than a little difficult. More like an impossibility high hurdle. 
impossibly high hurdle or really just impossible if I'm being honest. I'll tell you, I have the right materials but but then you, well you see this next part is something I could never manage but you need to catch this one Pokemon that appears at night. Ugh. You really want to know? You really don't value your own life, do you? It's the... 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 Dusclops. Oh, even saying its name fills me with dread. So the materials for the food have to be imbued with flavour by Dusclops' dark pulse. That's the only way you can make Bas Basque Legion's favourite food, you see. Wow, is everyone in the galaxy team like you? Your nerves aren't just steel, they're titanium. <laughs> it's posit positively frightening how um, fearless you are. D this, ugh, I can't say it. Well, the Pokemon I need has only one eye and can be found wandering around Deadwood Haunt. Ah, uh, Deadwood Haunt is the area that looks like a hand on your map. You'll know you're there when you find the wrecked boats. I try very hard to avoid those one-eyed Pokemon, and so now I know a lot about them. What? I think I read that wrong. Would, would you like to wait here until night when the Pokemon appears? Yeah, okay. Well then. Did you bring it? You know, the Pokemon with the name that sounds like... Oh. I thought you had to tell me something else. But no. Oh no. I don't want to die again. Have you seen a fellow from the construction corps named Yorich? God, this is hopeless. Where could he have gone? Would you mind helping me track him down? I'll be waiting a little further ahead. Please come see me when you have a moment. Why can't she just talk to me then? Why do I have to go track her down then? Did you bring it? You know, the Pokemon with the name that sounds like, um, Dust Pops? I have to go the long way. You really bought it? No! Don't bring it out! Right? I guess, I guess I've got to do my part seeing how um, determined you are to go, do the, go to that island with Basque Legion. 
Usually I um, ask Polina if the Growlithe she takes care of can help me with this bit. But this time you need to help since, well, since we're making this snack so that you'll be accepted by Basque Legion. Once I give the signal, you have that dust pops of yours. Use its dark pulse. Three, two. No, it's too frightening. Yeah, can you get a grip? Right, so counting down to it just makes the anticipation and terror worse. Let's simply have you do it when I say go. And go. A delicious aroma wafts through the air. Basque Legion's favourite snack is now ready. You obtained a ball of Basque Legion's food. Both the aroma and the shape are perfect. It's the perfect ball of Basque Legion's food. Then let us make the ginkgo landing. Oh, let us make for ginkgo landing. We can summon Basque Legion there. Oh, we have got to go to more places? You know, um, to be honest though, this Pokemon story, I kind of like. Like most of it's just like, um, you gonna you got to be the very best and, and all that stuff. Um, oh my god! How big he is. Um, but this story is actually really cool. I'm actually really getting into it. Oh, hello, Cheetah. I was just waiting for you. Hello, Iskan. Oh, Palina. I, I thought you said we shouldn't be seen together. I'm sure Cheetah can keep a secret. Besides, both I and the Growlithe pups were eager to meet with the great Basque Legion again. I see. Well, in that case, let me summon Basque Legion. Has she got like a mask? Like a scuba diving mask around her neck? I wonder if you can get like an Alpha Gyarados and they're going to be like massive. Go on, Cheetah. You can give the food to Basque Legion now. You threw in the ball of Basque Legion food. Oh! The Great Basque Legion. Oh, thank goodness. I was a little worried about whether Basque Legion would accept this favour. So, uh, Cheetah, you should let Basque Legion hear your playing. <clears throat> Basque Legion opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. You received the splash plate from Basque Legion. Now you can ride Basque Legion across Tranquility Cove and head to Fire Spit Island. My congratulations to you, Cheetah. Alina, do you want to tell her? I mentioned to you before how the previous Lord rescued his Growlithe pup. 
During that incident, Iskan and Baskalegion saved my life as well. Since then, I felt a great deal of affection for Iskan here. I truly adore him. But I know there are those who speak ill of me behind my back. See, it just takes you to save a chick and she's yours. So I try to meet with Iskan where there are no prying eyes to preserve his reputation. Well, I was just doing what any decent person would do when I saved you. Perhaps, but nonetheless, after that day, I found the strength to accept Growlithe as he is and not force him to become the next lord. And it was all thanks to the courage you showed me, Iskan. Uh, perhaps we should save this discussion for another time, after all. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and I'll luck to anyone, and ill luck. Oh my god, I said it again. <laughs> I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest and I'll be your unlucky charm. Thought you spotted a four leaf clover? Well I'll soon have you seeing double. I'm the middle sister and I'm one clover you can't pick. Heads, I win and tails you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. And together, we're misfortune sisters. Known across the the frigid land of Haizu, and your luck just ran out. Again. Now get ready to head over to the Growler. That Growler. You want to take my partner? If your aim is to pester us with bad jokes, those ridiculous introductions of yours were more than enough. Yes, exactly what she said. What she said! Now Gengar! Do we have to save the Growlithe now? He took the big one? Oh no, the little one. Thanks for the Growlithe, fools. No, he, they took the big one. We three can't live the kind of lives we want because of narrow-minded groups like the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. If we want to live freely in the great land of Haizu, we need to have powerful Pokemon on our side. Don't worry, we'll make sure this pup grows up nice and strong. We'll even make him a lord for ya. Let's take the mutt to our camp and get to work. No one will bother us in a place so miserably hot. <coughs> what? No! Growlithe! But they took the big one! What should we do, Cheetah? This is an emergency, right? But, uh, you see, I'm never... I've never actually had my partner battle before. Please, Cheetah, I beg you, help us. That Growlithe is a very, very dear Pokemon to me. Please save him. They said that they were going to a place where nobody would bother them. The only place around the Cobalt Coastlands that seems suitable is Fire Spit Island. Oh, now that you have Baskalegion to help you cross the border, you can reach that island too. Please, could you find it in your... Could you find it in you to help Halina? Halina? Oh, thank you, thank you, you're so kind. We will make our way to Fire Spit Island as well. No, Paulina, you should wait here and keep little Growlithe safe. I'm sure he needs you right now. Though I'm not sure if I want to go to an island with lightning and bandits and... No, come, Cheetah. 
No time to think. We must go now. You should also know that Basque Legion can jump from the water's surface and then jump once again in the air to go even higher. You can throw items from Basque Legion's back too. In your case, I guess that would mean throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon. Honestly, I have to admit I'm still a little scared. Do you think you could head over first? A little wimp. You can now call Basque Legion and ride across the border on his back. Press the button or A button when you're near water to summon Basque Legion. While riding Basque Legion, you still be able to throw items. What's more, when Basque Legion jumps into the air, you'll have to have more time to adjust your aim before you throw. Okay. Um. I am going to leave. Um, today's episode there, it's been a long one. <laughs> um, I just got so much money. I don't know what to do with it. Well, until the next episode, guys, you have a fabulous day, and I'll see you in the next one.